Alright, sorry for the screwy color on the camera. I'm not sure what my phone's doing. But I figured I'd uh, show you guys what happens when you uninstall the 14.6, or I should say the AMD drivers that I use for my R9-290X graphics card. And I uninstalled the 14.6 Beta 1 drivers to downgrade to the 14.4 to see if it solved an issue. I'm currently running Windows 8.1, 64 bit of course, uh, Pro, on a Crosshair 5 Formula Z. And to my surprise, upon rebooting, as you can see, the graphics card is working fine, pre Windows, nothing wrong. Um, and I, I see, I don't know why my camera is showing so much purple on the sides. Um, normally this screen here though is actually purplish. And as you can see, I get this. My, my system is set up to auto log in, so that is currently what you would, should be seeing, which you can kind of tell by the little flashing please wait circle down there. As you can see, it's now past that, so the trying to get to the desktop. And this is what happens. This isn't the first time I've seen this with this particular card in Windows 8.1. I have uninstalled, I actually, uh, two days ago I believe, uninstalled the 14.6 Beta 1 drivers and reinstalled them. Well, I uninstalled them, ran into this exact problem, which I solved by going into the, getting into safe mode, which is nice and hard on Windows 8.1 and installing the driver directly through device manager using the an I, one of the actual INF files uh, I think that's the extension name on them, uh, INF but the actual driver files because you can't run the installer in safe mode um, and in safe mode this this screen actually comes up perfect for some reason this works perfectly fine in safe mode I see the desktop as intended um, of course, it's in safe mode, so half, you know, a lot of stuff doesn't work. Like I said, the in graphics installer doesn't work. So what you have to do is actually go into Device Manager, find the graphics card, which it lists as the Microsoft compatible latency, I believe, under safe mode. Uh, force it to install the AMD drivers, like I said, via Device Manager and navigating to the folder where they're supposed to be once you unpack your EXE that you download from AMD. And then once you get that installed, then you can reboot back to normal mode and your screen will come up as it's supposed to. But for a lot of people that don't know um, how to get into safe mode, especially now with Windows 8 because you can't hit F8 like you used to, especially with, well, at least with UEF, UEIF, I believe that's right, UEIF BIOSes, um, or is it UEFI? UEFI, actually. Um, yeah, so you run into this problem, and now this, like I said, you can kind of see my desktop is there. As my system is set to go straight to the desktop, if I hit start, you can kind of see it starts sort of there, but not really. And I do have dual monitors, um, and it happens on both of them. This does happen with only one plugged in and restarting, This, no matter which one I plug in, so it's not that the fact that there's two monitors and it's screwing with it, which shouldn't have any problem with it anyway it's I don't know who's to blame on this I don't know if this is a Microsoft problem um, or if this is an AMD problem with their beta drivers um, I'm as I haven't gotten a chance to install 14.4 yet and this is a uh, actually a relatively new build um, this is quite a new issue all right thanks for watching